Hey, warm welcome to my channel, Programming Guide by Bargavi. So, in this video, I'm going to explain you the important questions of the new SQL, which is the syllabus which is related to Telangana University data science students that is for the fifth sem. So, before going to the important questions, so no SQL is nothing but non structured SQL. These complete subjects related to the databases which we are using in this generation. Okay, so we will go the important questions unit wise. So in the first unit, we have an important questions relate, which are related to the introduction to the databases. The first question is explain relational databases. Second question. Next, the second question is explain the importance or need of the SQL. So if you understand the relational databases, then we understood the problems of the relational databases. So in order to overcome the all relational databases drawbacks, we introduced the no SQL and it also have many number of advantages which are suitable for the this generation programming. So this SQL, that means no SQL is very important. You need to explain this point wise manner. Next question is define clusters. And the next question, explain aggregates, discuss about aggregated oriented database. Next, explain relationships and schema-less database. And final question in the first unit is, explain data model for data access. And second question, explain sharding with examples and explain replications its types or explain master slave replication or peer to peer replication so this first and second questions if you understand very clearly then you can easily write the third question why because we are combining sharding and replications in combination of these two so implementation of the third question if you understand one and two you can easily write this one so next you have explain consistency and types so what is the consistency problems? And you have to explain this update consistency, read consistency and relaxing consistency. So in this, you also have to explain the cap theorem. Next, explain version stamps, write the methods of version stamps on multiple nodes. So if you have consistency problems, how you can overcome these consistency problems? That means before conflict occurs, after conflict occurs, we have different kinds of version stamps mechanisms. You have to explain that in a point-wise manner very neatly. Next, explain map reduce briefly. So this, this comes to the second unit imported questions. And the next one is explain key value store database with its features. So in this, this third unit, these questions are related to chapter one. And these two questions are related to chapter two. So in any unit, in any unit, either one or two or three or four, in these four units, every chapter contains, that means every unit contains two to three chapters. So what we need to do, if you have a two chapters, that means one and two, in academics, almost all, there will be a one long answer from first chapter, there will be a long answer from second chapter. So if you want to attempt all the bits from all units, so at least go through preparation of at least one chapter completely without leaving any single topic also. So if you, re if you prepare one chapter, you will be passed with the good marks. At least one chapter you have to prepare completely when if it is of two chapters. In first unit, we have three chapters and in second unit also we have three chapters. So after these three chapters, prepare two, prepare two. So if you prepare two also, you'll get one long answer compulsory from these two chapters. That means at least half of the syllabus, if you prepare, you'll get good marks. Don't bother about reading of complete subject because only if you want to get marks, I'm telling this view, but if you want a good knowledge, good knowledge, then you go with all the topics which you have in your academic syllabus. Next, explain key value store database with its features. Explain suitable use cases of key value database. So I think this is for long answer. This 
here I'll, I'll guess this answer will come for the long. This is for short. Next, in the next chapter, explain document database and its feature. And it's for long answer. Explain suitable use cases of document database. It's for short answer. This is the third unit. So third unit and fourth unit are very scoring unit because we have less amount of syllabus. So if you prepare these two units completely, surely you will pass. Surely you will pass. These two units are very easy and very easy to write, very easy to understand, very less syllabus, very less number of important questions you have. Similarly, in fourth unit also, these two are from first unit. So that means first chapter, these two are from second chapters. If you prepare one chapter also, you'll get this as a long, this as a short, this as a long, this as a short. So explain column family data store with its features. So you have to explain the definition of the column family and some examples of the column family uh, and what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages and what are the features you have to explain with the neat diagram so that you will get good marks and explain suitable use cases of column family database. Use cases are nothing but what? Where we are using this column family data store databases in the real world examples that we call it as a use cases. And next chapter, explain graph database and its features. Explain suitable use cases of the graph database. So this also you have to explain definition, advantages, disadvantages and features and neat diagrams, everything, everything you need to write very neatly and with the diagrams and with the examples so that you will get good marks. So this is related to your fourth unit.